Well guys, I'm here to present to you a two-story, two-bedroom residential outland project design. Let's go. So, outline of the project, two-story house with three bedrooms and it is ideal for a family with three or four members. So, this is the first floor. We can see the dining room, kitchen, family room, movie room. And then the second floor is we can see three bedrooms and a foyer. The baths here, the bath. And then this is a what you call this closet. Next is the first floor first floor lighting. So all the lights are connected to one circuit. Yes, circuit one. Which will be connected to the panel board here. This one is the panel board. Next, in the second floor, we can also see all the lights are connected to one circuit, circuit 2, which will be connected to the panel board downstairs. Here, basically, here, if you imagine it, it's here, somewhere here. So, next is the power layout here um, this sign is a is an outlet and one two three four five six outlets are connected to one circuit here is here we have one two three four five outlets connected to another circuit refrigerator is um, only had Circuit 3 have only have a refrigerator. It is because this has a motor. It is a motor load, which will be basically um single one in a circuit. So to prevent some distractions, or we could say that if there is a fault here it will not be affected same as vice versa next is the second floor this one is an air conditioning unit this one this one also then all five circuits in the I mean all five outlets in the second floor are connected to one circuit circuit 10 then a fan so connected to another circuit circuit level next is the legend you can read it here legends next is the utility or the single line diagram this is utility the provider meter this wire is a wire connected to the main breaker and in the main breaker we can see one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 breakers. If you are wondering why there is a space, it is for future purposes. It is a spare. You can all you you should always put spare breaker for future purposes. These are the loads loads in each breaker like that. Next is the Schedule of loads. Here, load description. Quantity, power, volts, which is 220, ideal for a residential. Then their current. Current protection, the ampere trip and ampere frame. Phase to phase. Then the wire protection. These are the wires to be used in each loads at like that way. So this is this competition will if you use this competition you can determine what wire to be used from the meter to the main circuit breaker and this will be the main circuit breaker which will be derived from this competition next is the vicinity map so a vicinity map is used to find the location of the building 
which will be have which the project will be implemented so next is the house model you can see two story this is the divider this is the floor and the second floor this is the second floor then here are the door windows like that so this will this is the model of the house so next is the gun chart in the gun chart we can see the tasks to be done number of workers then the hours and you can see five days which means the project will be finished within five days so project costs so project cost this compatible units we will know them in the next slides uh, their costs seal and sign if you're wondering why there are two because we have two pages of electrical plan electrical tape consumables electrical tape then the um, tools to be used within the project next is the working force journeyman and rme rme is stands for registered master electrician and a journeyman means um first pers a person with experience in the work so rate is 55 pesos per hour 75 pesos per hour for registered electrical i mean registered master electrician next is the working group installation crew which will be consist of four journeymen so a super supervisor which will be the RME must registered master electrician next is items the items that will be used here the prices and item numbers which will be used in the next here so if you remember the previous slides the these are basically the um, abbreviations of the work descriptions here this one where this numbers item number is from the previous slide this will indicate what we'll be using here and then the quantity and the person who will be doing it and this is the labor hour or how much time it will be done so next is here is the competition here we can see the abbreviations of the work then how many times will it be done the prices of each work oh this is the total one that is for the direct cost for the indirect cost the seal sign electrical tape other consumables the tools that so this is the total indirect cost we will be adding the bo both cost we will have 80,301 pesos so that's it thank you for watching